Welcome to Top Vim Plugins for Web Development. Alright, here's our list. We'll start with the Surround Plugin. The Surround Plugin solves the need to be able to surround text easily with different things, such as tags. I'll put a P tag there. Alright, I can also change surrounding tags very easily. You'd, you can change the surrounding tag by pushing CST and then typing in the tag. It also works with brackets and curly brackets. Like that. Now let me change it back. Like I said, to change it, you push C, S, and then push the bracket because we're changing a bracket. That stands for change surrounding tag or change surrounding bracket. Now let's try snipmate. Snipmate solves the problem of not having snippet snippets in uh, Vim. So that's what snipmate's for. Watch how fast as you can type tags in. Okay, I'm just going to make an HTML tag and a body tag and put a div and name it wrapper alright put some stuff in there put a page or something like that let's put a sidebar in there too alright there we go there we go. indent it right let's add a doc type I'll go with strict and I'll add a head a head tag and put a title in there for us and the style we'll add a little style all right I'll just add a quick um, quick clear um, clear our margins to make sure that we can style them correctly and browsers don't do what they want all right and that looks pretty good Just how fast is that? All you have to do is type, tag, and then push the tab button. Like HTML, then I push tab. And this will initiate it. Alright, now let's see T comment. Alright. Many times, as in code, you want to disable code. There's a fast way to do it. T comment to the rescue. Alright, I got a little example here on PHP. Watch this. I'm just going to select these three down here that I don't want in the code. And then, ta da! It's commented out so it won't execute. And it's really easy to change it from on and off. I'm just going to select some text, and bam! And the way you do this is. Let's see. You select the text and pushing G C for I don't know exactly, but it change G and then comment, you know, to toggle it. You can also toggle lines easily. Like that. By pushing G C C. Easy as that. And as a tip don't try to use the dot to repeat this command because it doesn't work. But other than that, it's a really nice plugin. Alright. Now, MRU plugin. Let me open up a new tag tab. What if I want to open a recently edited file? MRU to the rescue. Basically, this just gives you a list of the 10 top files that you've opened recently, which is really useful. Here's one I opened recently from one of my other projects. And there you go. Easy as that. Very simple plugin, but very useful.
Let me try it again. And we'll open my VMRC. Very nice. There you go. Easy as that. You just type colon MRC, MRU and then enter. I might have called it MRC. I'm sorry if I did. Fuzzy Finder. I like this one. So I'm going to put a smiley face. There you go. This is a really nice plugin. There we go. What if I want to find my files fast? Fuzzy Finder to the rescue. Fuzzy Finder puts a bar on the top like this. See? And then... You can start... Then you type in a part of the name or the whole name and you'll get it. And then you just push enter and it'll open that file. So let's find tada.txt from our root, which is C. Alright, I'll show you how fast I can do it. Alright, I'll type in program files. There we go. Got it. And then vim, because it's in vim. And then C T Tada dot txt. Uh, it didn't let me open it, but that's because I haven't saved this file yet and it doesn't want to overwrite it. But I can do it again, even faster. Now watch this. Alright, program files, vim, ta-da, bam. I just went through three different um, directories, and bam, I got it. So that's why I like that. Nerd tree, also a very good way of selecting files. Nerd tree is a replacement for the original Vim tree. And this is what it looks like. Alright, I'm in my program files Vim right now. Doesn't look like there's too much going on. Let's see, I can go up and down, I can open it up things. I'm going to say if I want a bookmark or something, I should type colon bookmark and then the name. Make sure that's capitalized. To open it, I push shift B and bam there's all my bookmarks then you can just hit enter and it'll open up a bookmark like that just like that easy peasy it's a really good project replacement let me tell you beautiful alright match it plugin what if I want to find the ending div all you have to do is oh whoops there we go. Basically, magic, match it matches things that aren't just tags and stuff. They can match tag, I mean, not just curly brackets and stuff. They can match tabs and boom. Easy to find the end of it. Really useful, believe me. All you have to do is push percent when you are got your cursor over a tag like that. It even works with really complicated things like this. See? Easy. That's basically it. Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll probably be doing another one about, you know, really the, the really top Vim features that I like.